So in this video, we are going to learn how to send TradingView alerts to Telegram. Let's say you are using TradingView and you have created some kind of alerts in TradingView for your favorite stocks or indexes as well. Now you want that whenever you get a new alert message in TradingView, you want to send that same message on your Telegram channel as well, where you have a community of members. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So in this automation, whenever we are going to receive a new alert message in TradingView, which we have created, automatically within seconds, instantly, the same alert message will be sent on our Telegram channel as well. Also, if you want, you can send the same message to a Telegram group or an individual Telegram user too. Now, if you want to learn how you can set up this kind of automation all by yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my TradingView account. Now I want that whenever I get an alert in my TradingView account for any of the stocks or index, I want to share the same alert message on my Telegram channel as well. Now to do this, we have to connect our TradingView account with Telegram. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Public Connect to do so. Now to access Pabbly Connect, just go to your browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabbly.com slash connect. And you will reach to the landing page of Pabbly Connect. Now here you can see two options. First one is sign in and second one is sign up free. If you are new to Pabbly, by clicking on sign up free, you can set up your free Pabbly account in just two minutes. Or if you are an existing Pabbly user, just sign in to your own Pabbly account. After signing in, we will reach to this All Apps page of Pabbly. Here we just have to click on Access Now below Pabbly Connect. And as we click on Access Now, we will reach to Pabbly Connect's dashboard. After coming to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow over here. For that, just click on this Create Workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I would like to name my workflow as Trading View to Telegram. You can basically give any name of your choice. Then just select the folder of your Pavli account in which you want to create this automation and click on create. Now as we click on create, here you can see the automation workflow will open in front of us. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on. Where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is, first we are going to connect our TradingView account with Pabbly Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever a new alert message is received in TradingView account, automatically the same alert message will be received inside Pabbly Connect and this automation workflow will trigger, it will start. Then after that, using this Pabbly Connect automation, we are going to send the same message received from TradingView and share it on our Telegram channel with our other members as well. So let's see how it is done. In the trigger window in Choose app, search for Trading View and just select it. After selecting Trading View in Trigger Event from the drop down, select the trigger event as New Alert. After selecting the trigger event, Pabbly Connect gave us a webhook URL. Now, using this webhook URL, we are going to connect our Trading View account with Pabbly Connect. And to add this webhook URL in our Trading View account, we just have to follow the instructions given below over here. So first of all, we'll go to our TradingView account and we have to open the stock or index for which we want to set up the alert, for which we want to get the alert message. Let's take an example of Nifty 50 index. Let's say I want to set up an alert for Nifty 50 index. So first we have to open the full chart of that index or stock for which we want to set up the alert. And then we have to click on this create alert button. Now here you can see it is asking us for the condition that what kind of alert condition we want to set up. So I have selected Nifty 50 regular trading hours over here and here in condition I am selecting crossing. Then I want to set up the condition for price. I want to set up this alert for price. So I am selecting price. If you want you can select volume as well as per your choice. And for what price we want to set up this alert for. So I have selected the price as 22,318 over here. For this particular price I want to set up the alert. Then it is asking us for the trigger and in trigger we have two options only once and every time. If we select the trigger as only once then we are going to get the alert message only once when this nifty 50 index will be crossing this price. But if we select the trigger as every time in that case we are going to get an alert message in trading view every time nifty 50 is going to be crossing this particular price for which we have created this alert. So I'm selecting every time. You can select the alert type as per your choice. 
Then it is asking us for the expiration that when this alert is going to get expired. Let's say I want to expire this alert on 24th of April and the time is for example 4 p.m. So you can basically select any date and time for the expiration of this alert as per your choice. Then it is asking us for the alert name. So let me name it as Nifty 50 Webhook. This is the alert name which I'm giving. You can give any other alert name of your choice. And at last, it comes the most important thing, that the message. That while doing this, whenever Nifty 50 is going to be crossed this particular price, what is the alert message which we want to receive? What is the alert message we want to send on our Telegram channel to our other users as well? Now here in the message section, you can basically create any message of your choice. Let's say I want to share the message as, for example, Nifty 50 is crossing. And here we are going to mention the price that for what price we have created this alert. Now, in this message itself, you can also add some special placeholders given by TradingView. Now, what are these placeholders and how you can use it? To know this, just click on this question mark logo below that. And here you can see on the right side, this section will open up in TradingView. And here you can see a list of all the variables, all the placeholders which you can add in the message in TradingView. All of these placeholders are offered by TradingView. So here you can see if you create this kind of message, in this message you can see we have added four variables, four placeholders. First one is for the exchange, second one is for the ticker, basically the stock or the index name. Third one is the price, that what is the close price, what is the current price over here. And the fourth one is for the volume at which that particular stock or index is trading at. If you create this kind of message, you can see all of these variables, all of these placeholders are actually replaced by the actual value, the current value in the alert message. So we have the exchange over here, then we have the ticker over here, then you can see the current price and the volume as well. And there is a list of different placeholders, different variables offered by TradingView. So here you can see this list, we have ticker, we have exchange, we have close, open, high, low, time and volume. Then we have the variable for time over here. Then we have the variable for different plots, also for interval. And if you're creating some kind of strategy in TradingView, you can add the variable for those strategies as well over here. So in this way, you can select any variable of this choice, any variables of your requirement and add those variables in the message. Just for an example, I'm going to use this particular set of variables over here. I'll just copy it from here and paste it in the message section where I'll be mentioning this exchange, ticker, price and the volume. So in this way, you can create any message alert message of your choice and whatever alert message we are going to create, the same message will be received inside Public Connect and the same message we will be sending using this automation on Telegram. Now, after creating the alert and the alert message, what we have to do? We have to add this webhook URL given by Public Connect in this alert as well. Now, to add the webhook URL, we will go to this notification section and here you can see this option of webhook URL, just select it. And in the field below, we have to add the exact same webhook URL which Public Connect gave us. Just copy it from here and then paste it over here. And after pasting the webhook URL and creating the alert, just click on create. But before creating this alert, let me change the alert price as well. So here right now, this Nifty 50 index is trading at 22,313. And we are going to create an alert for 22,315 so that we can get the response quickly for the video. So let's click on create and we have created this alert over here. So just now we have created the alert for Nifty 50 and yes, here you can see just now Nifty 50 has crossed 22,315 and we have received the alert for the same as well. Now, because we have added the webhook URL in this alert, we will see in our public connect workflow in this trigger step, we have received the response. And in this response, you can see the exact same message which we have basically created. Nifty 50 is crossing this price for which we have created the alert. And this is the variable. These are the variables which we have added in our alert message. We have the exchange that is NSE. We have the basically the ticker, the stock or the index. Then we have the current price that after crossing this price for which we have created the alert, what is the current price? What was the current price? And also we have the volume that at what volume it is trading at right now. In this way, you can create any alert message in TradingView and the same message will be received inside Public Connect. And the step one of setting up this automation is completed. Now, after this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we want to send this exact same message on our Telegram channel. For that, we will just scroll down, come to this action step, and here in Choose app, we are going to search for Telegram. Select Telegram bot over here. After selecting Telegram bot, in action event from the dropdown, select the action event as send a text message or reply. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. 
Now here to post this message on our Telegram channel, what we have to do? First, we have to create a bot in our Telegram account. And we have to add this bot in our Telegram channel on which we want to post this message. And we have to promote the bot to the admin of that channel as well. And after creating the bot and promoting it, we are going to connect that same bot with Pavli Connect and using this connection, using this bot, we are going to send the trading view alerts on our Telegram channel. And to connect the bot, we have to enter the API token of this bot over here. Now, I will be teaching you from the scratch that how you can create the bot and connect it as well. Now, to create a bot, just go to your Telegram account and here we have to search for bot father. Just search for bot father with this official tick. After that, let's click on start. And after clicking on start, we have to send a message as slash new bot. After sending the message, it is asking us to give this bot a name. Let's say I'll name my bot as Trading View Automation. This is the bot name which I'm going to give. After giving the bot name, we have to give this bot a unique username as well. And the username should enter with bot or underscore bot. So what I'm going to do, I'll be using the same bot name over here. And then after that, at last, I'll just add underscore bot. So this will be the unique username of this bot. And yes, after giving the unique username, the bot is created in our Telegram account. And this is the API token. This is the access token of this bot using which we can connect this bot with Pavli Connect. Just copy this access token from here. And after that, paste it over here. After pasting the access token of the bot, let's click on save. And as we click on save, you can see this Telegram bot, which we have created just now, will be connected with our Pavli Connect workflow in this action step. After making the connection, as I told you, first we have to activate this bot. So we'll just click on this link over here and then click on the start button. Now, as you click on this start button, this bot is active. Now we have to add this bot on our Telegram channel and promote this bot to the admin of the channel as well. Now I will be using the Telegram mobile application or the desktop application to add this bot on my Telegram channel and promote this bot to the admin of the channel and done. So here you can see this was my telegram channel named as stock alert and in this channel i have added my telegram bot we have two subscriber first one is me and second one is the bot which i have added so i'll just go to the edit section of this channel and here you can see right now we have two administrator first one is me and second one is the bot which we have created just now now after this what we have to do we have to enter the chat id of the same telegram channel or telegram group on which we want to send the messages now using this automation, using this bot, if you want, you can send the messages or trading view alerts to a personal user, to a telegram group or to a telegram channel. But we have to enter the chat ID of that over here. And to get the chat ID, just go to the telegram web application. And after opening your telegram channel here in the URL section, at last, you can see this number after the hash sign. This is our chat ID. Just copy this chat ID of your telegram channel from here and paste it over here. Now, if you want to send the message, if you're sending the messages on a Telegram group, you have to enter the chat ID as it is. But if you're sending the messages on a Telegram channel, in that case, either you have to enter the username which you will be having with at the rate of the Telegram channel, or you have to enter the chat ID with this 100 over here. So after dash, you have to enter 100 over here, dash 100, and then you have to enter the rest of the chat ID. This will be the chat ID of our Telegram channel. So while sending the messages and entering the chat ID, you have to ensure that where you are sending the messages and enter the chat ID properly. After chat ID, it is asking us text message that what is the message that we want to send. So we have received the alert message from TradingView in the trigger step. And we want to send this exact same message received from TradingView on our Telegram channel as well. So what we are going to do, we will map the response of the trading view alert message from the trigger step to this telegram bot action step. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field and here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which you have received from trading view of an alert message. Just click on this response, just select this response of the message from the drop down and select it. After mapping the message, it is asking us message thread ID and reply to message. Now, if you are quoting some message or replying to a message in your Telegram group or channel, you have to enter both of these details. But right now, we are just sending a plain message. So we can ignore these two fields for now. Then it is asking us disable notification, disable web page preview, allow sending without reply, and protect content. So you can select all of these options as per your choice. In the drop down, you can see options of yes and no. You can select these options as per your choice. 
Then in pass mode, we have two options, HTML and Markdown. And I'm going to select HTML as the pass mode over here. If you want, you can select the Markdown style as well as per your requirement or as per the message which you are sending on your Telegram channel. Then if you want, you can send some kind of button with links in the Telegram message as well. And you have to enter the button name over here separated by commas and the link for those buttons in the next field separated by commas in the same manner. But right now we are not sending any kind of buttons over here with this message. So we are just going to keep both of these fields as blank. And after that, just click on save and send test request. And after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see we are going to receive some response over here. And yes, we have received a response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have mapped over here, basically the alert message which we have received from TradingView is now sent on our Telegram channel. So let's check it. We will go to a Telegram channel and yes, here you can see the same alert message which we have created in TradingView is now posted on our Telegram channel. Nifty 50 is crossing the same price for which we have created the alert and we have the rest of the message. We have the exchange, we have the name of the stock or the index, we have the current price after cro crossing and the volume at which it is trading at right now. So this means the automation workflow which we have created using public connect between TradingView and Telegram, this automation is working perfectly fine. Now after setting up this automation, we are going to test this automation once again. We'll go to our TradingView account and here you can see these many times we have received the alert. So what I'm going to do, I'll just remove this alert for once and let me create another alert for now. So after removing the alert, let's create a new alert over here. In notification section, you can see the same webhook URL is added by default. And here I'm just going to set up an alert for the price of 22,295. For this particular price, I'm creating the alert. And I'm adding the same price in the message section as well. Also what I want to do, I want to enter the same placeholders. I want to enter the current price over here. So I'll just enter price and enter the placeholder for price. And also I want to mention the volume. So this time I have changed the message a bit. And we will see in the same format, we will be sending the message on our Telegram channel as well. So after entering these details, I'll select trigger every time over here. After entering these details, after creating the message, adding the placeholders, adding the variables of your choice in the message and selecting the price, let's click on this create button. So just now we have created this alert in our TradingView account for Nifty 50 index on the price is 22,295 over here. And yes, because it has crossed just now this particular price, you can see we have received the alert message. And because we have created this automation workflow, we will see within seconds, the same message will be posted on our Telegram channel. And yes, here you can see the same message which we have created is posted. Nifty crossing 22,295. We have the current price at what is the current price and what is the current volume it is trading at right now. This means the automation workflow which we have created, we have tested this automation and it is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And one more important thing, you will find the clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. Or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at Also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.